cold, bare, and harsh are only a few words that describe the Norwegian mountains of the Oberfjell. This rocky place does not seem comfortable to many, but even on the highest altitudes, there's a range of animals that call this place their dearly home. I'm gonna dress that, and I'm not a National Geographic filmmaker. Over the course of the 20th century, this place has seen some species disappear, hunted down, and extinct. Though some of them also made their reappearance. The story of these mountains is one of reintroduction and rehabilitation. Welcome to the wild north. Welcome to Dorfofjell. We are in the heart of Dovrefjell National Park, a great barrier, mountain ridge between the southern part of the country and the northern part of Norway. The park is characterized by round, rocky mountain tops, but also steep peaks. But beside that magnificent landscape, there is also a load of animals, a load of wildlife that we can find here. I will venture out into the wild, sleep under the stars, to bring you this beautifully harsh place a bit closer. Even though this mountain range reminds a lot of the Arctic in winter times, the summer days can see a harsh increase in temperature. The animals living up here have only one response. They climb even higher in altitude. Being one of the last wild herds of reindeer in Europe, these animals are characteristic for Dorfofjell, though hard to come by. These reindeer are normally found all over the plateau, but now they are stuck. This patch of snow seems to be the only cold relaxation in the rare shade high up in the mountains. There is another animal out here with a similar problem, which is often put on display. The Moskox. Muskogs down there seem to suffer a similar fate as the reindeers. Even though the sun is gone, they seek refuge on the cold snow and ice. Normally you would find them in Greenland or in the Arctic part of Canada. An area where they are as Arctic hoofed animals are perfectly adapted to. They have such a thick fur, it's one of the thickest in the world. It won't take long, and as the shadows move, these herds will head out to look for another place to search refuge from the sun. Employees working on the railroad crossing through Dovofjell 
had found fossils of muskox. This gave a hint that these animals had once ranged here before. The first introduction was done in 1932, with individuals from Greenland. This population only endured a short while until it was extinct during the Second World War, due to hunting. These animals do not really belong here. They have been reintroduced in the 1940s, and around 21 animals have grown to a population of nearly 300. But here, in Norway, in the warm summer, it can rapidly happen that it's way too much heat for these animals. But for 70 years, this area seems to have support life for them. Muskox attacks happen every year. People often get hurt by misjudging a healthy distance to the herd. These giants are peaceful for most of their time, but if they feel threatened, they do not shy out of protecting the herd with force. Less prominent than muskox and reindeer. and especially small in size. One animal has become a rare sight in these mountains, but it certainly owns the right to be here. The Arctic Fox. I'm really glad to meet arctic fox out here, it's actually not that easy and they're quite rare. They come with many names and that depends really on their fur color. They will be called polar fox because of the location, arctic fox, but also blue fox and white fox. In the winter they're normally white, but the fur can also be brown if they have gene mutation, so called blue fox. In the summer then, they're normally grayish and they have some wide areas. It's really hard to find them out here and it's not really like you will go after them because you will just meet them randomly. They have been extinct in the 90s due to hunting. And since then there has been a great effort put in a sanctuation and breeding to bring the Arctic Fox back into the national parks of mainland Norway. So it's reasonable to enjoy a random encounter, but after I've seen enough, I will get out of here and leave them alone. Dovrefjell proves that reintroduction of extinct species can work. even though time has to show if muskox or arctic fox can endure in the long run. Other animals like the red fox are venturing further north with increasing temperatures and pose a threat to their short-legged cousins. Only time will tell if the diverse and precious ecosystem of Dovrefjell can prevail in the years to come. An encounter that will keep my mind busy for sure. Even if I want to observe these animals just a bit longer, I know that my time in the mountains is up. I build down my tent, pack my gear and leave the wild behind. But do not worry, it won't be forever.
Thank you for watching The Wild North. For more content, check out other videos on this channel, subscribe, like and leave a comment if you have any feedback. Read the full photo story and others on GunnarDresla.com where you can find prints, wallpapers and other products that support new projects on this channel.